Greetings of Lee's Hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another Emmy Eats. Today I'll be eating Austria. So I received this awesome, amazing package from a trio. I received this from Little Miss B, Little Miss A, and her boyfriend, Mr. M. Thank you guys so much for sending me this huge, wonderful package of treats, and I love the fact that you guys watch my videos together. I think it's so very sweet. This package is quite different than my first taste of Austria because it includes lots of childhood treats from Mr. M and Little Miss A and Little Miss B's childhood. So I'm excited to taste them. So let's go ahead and get started. Because I have so many treats to eat, I'm gonna pass on these two because they didn't make the trip very well. They got all melty and mushed, but they're so beautiful, I wanna share them anyways. So, so that's Sweetie and Manya, which got melty, but I'm sure they're delicious. I feel like I won't be able to make a fair assessment of these two because they've gotten so badly melted, but I wanted to share them to you anyways because they're so charming. It's been around since 1921, and it's a coconut treat called Blaschke Kokoskubel. Two cookies kind of stacked on top of each other, and the top is coated with some coconut. Tadakimasu. Mmm! Has a really great texture to it. On top you have a coconut macaroon, shredded coconut, a little bit chewy with like meringue. In the middle you've got a little bit of, I think, hazelnut cream. And on the bottom you have a nice little wafer. And then it's dipped in chocolate. So you have really fun textural components. The chewy macaroon, the crunchy wafer, the rich chocolate, kind of snap on the outside. Delicious. This is called Umdudler, and it's a natural alpine herb soft drink with this great graphic design. I love it. And it's been on the market since 1957. It has a really nice smell. And it's got kind of a gingery color to it. Cheers. Ooh, I like it. That's delicious. It says it's herbal, but it's delicious. It tastes a little, to me, apple-y, a little bit like ginger ale. Very refreshing. Not overly sweet and actually a little bit tart. Delicious! Um doodler is fantastic. This candy is Little Miss B's favorite and it's called Sport Goon. This has been made since 1870, so it's quite an old candy. It smells good. It smells like gummy bears and they're really cute cubes. Well, not cubes, but squares. All right. Wow! It's very firm. These kind of surprised me because I thought they were going to be really soft because they look like gumdrops, but they're actually quite firm in texture even firmer than a gummy bear, but the flavor is really nice and similar to a gummy bear in flavor as well. The purple one I just had, I think maybe is black currant. It's quite good. So why do they call it sport gummy? Is it because you have to chew very actively to eat them? <laughs> do tell. Next we have cornichon, which are tiny little pickles or gherkins. I actually tasted a similar one in my Emmy Eats Germany video. I'll put the link down below if you're interested. Very cute little pickle. Let's give it a taste. Here we go. Mmm, really tart and tangy. And these are actually not as sweet as the ones that I had in Germany. Those ones were a little bit sweeter and had more onion flavor. These are more just like a straight up pickle. Delicious. Love that kind of vinegariness to them. These are Klein Bun and these are meat spreads. So I'm going to taste this on a cracker and have it with cornichon as well. And some mustard they sent to me as well. Shepta, Shepta mustard, which looks divine. So I'm going to have this together with the Klein Fun and the cornichons together. This packaging is marvelous. Look at this. There are three little tubs inside. How cute. So there are three. There's Geflügen Aufstich and Lieber Aufstich Reitschfleisch. <laughs> I'm sorry for my butchering of your Austrian language. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm going to try Lieber. I think that's going to be like liverwurst. It smells great. Spread some on my cracker. Mmm. Creamy and smooth and rich and very meaty. Delicious. It tastes a little bit gamey because it's, there's some liver in there. But it's fantastic. I love that texture. It's just so silky and smooth. Yum, yum, yum. Let's try one with a pickle on top. Oh, here we go. Mmm, even better. The vinegar in the cornichon goes really, really well with the creamy richness of the spread. Let's try the mustard just plain. Ooh, it's actually a very fair colored mustard. Very light and pale. It smells great. All right, let's give it a taste. Mmm, ooh. This is a very unique flavored mustard. Just a little bit of spice in there and it's very vinegared. Very smooth consistency too. Not at all grainy. All right, let's try these together. Mmm. The vinegar goes so well with the meat spread. Lastly for my savory treats is this beautiful thing right here. It smells really smoky. It's a cold smoked beef sausage. 
Here's a thin slice held up to the light. It's kind of this beautiful red color inside. A little mustard and a little slice of meat. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Really nice, smoky flavor, but it doesn't taste so artificial. It's got a really nice woodsy flavor to it. Very firm texture, but again, when sliced thinly, it's really easy to get through. Kind of like salami. It's like a campfire. Delicious. And they call this a granny snack because it's kind of old-fashioned, and it's made from a plant called a marshmallow plant. It smells a bit like gummy bears. And they're three different colors, kind of a tan, pink, and white. Mmm! How fun! They're actually kind of soft in texture. Soft and a little bit chalky. Very interesting flavor and texture. The texture is a bit like a dried out marshmallow. Soft, but with a little bit of a crust. And the flavor is very floral, but kind of light. A little bit like violets or something. Interesting. El Defonso. So there's several inside. Looks like there's maybe nine. And look at these beautiful blocks. Gorgeous! Is a little note. I wish I knew what it said. It's a quote from Petrarca. Beautiful layered chocolate. All right, let's give it a taste. Mmm. Very, very smooth and unctuous in your mouth. The hazelnut and chocolate are very, very balanced in here and quite sweet actually. But the mouthfeel is sublime. Drage Cakesy. And this is a classic cookie enrobed in chocolate. Sounds good to me. They're like little half moons. And this one's the milk chocolate. So let's give that a taste. Mmm. Inside is just a little biscuit, a little nubbly biscuit, and it's coated with a thin layer of delicious chocolate. That one's milk chocolate. So let's try the dark chocolate one. Mmm. That one's less sweet and chocolatey as well, but really lovely biscuit. These are totally crazy addictive. Mmm. I would say this is more of a cookie than a candy. And then you have the milk chocolate and the dark chocolate together. Nice balance. I think I like the dark chocolate a little bit more because it's not as sweet. This is called Makava Iced Tea and it's a relatively new product. And I guess it has mate in it. Mate is a type of tea. If you haven't seen me drink that before, you can go to my Emmy Eats Argentina video. I'll put the link down below. Mmm. Oh yeah. And a nice herbal taste of tea. A slight bitterness. Nice little lemony flavor and not very sweet at all. Love that. Very refreshing and sunny. So thanks so much Little Miss A, Little Miss B, and Mr. N for sending me such a great comprehensive package of Austrian treats. I really enjoyed eating the old-fashioned ones and the savory things as well. That was really, really, really delightful. And thanks so much for being patient for your video. I know you guys have waited for a long time. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys learned something. And let me know in the comments below what your favorite granny candies are. I want to know. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Toodaloo, take care, bye. Today, he's going to be my balut expert. Balut. There isn't balut expert. Yes, so I've had a lot of requests to eat balut, and for those of you that don't know what balut is, Ken, my expert, will come. <laughs>